What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff, baby. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me to grow into the boss nation. Thank y'all so much, man. So much coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys. I love you. You're all I got. You're all I got, baby. You're all I got. And all fail, fail, my brothers and my sisters, maybe little kids as, as well watching. Guys, how about them hoes, baby? How about them hoes, baby? And my fan, look now, before I get all the hoes of love <laughs> and the praise that I'm going to give them in this video, because they deserve it, I got to give my boys from Texas A&M some praise too, guys, because they did a hell of a job, man. Uh, you know, they lost the quarterback. Of course, we know that old line's a little shaky and whatnot. Defense was still on point, but the hoes was just too much from beginning to end and whatnot, but still, fam. I still respect my boys from all uh, Texas A&M. They did their thing as well. It's just the Hawks was just too much this year, man. Just too much this year. And um, the Hawks ended a nine-game losing streak. Nine-game losing streak, guys, to the Texas A&M Aggies. And also, and since 1988, I was three years old that year. Since 1988, it's been since 1988 that the Hawks have beat Texas and Texas A&M, bro. They just spanking the state of Texas. It's just spanking the state of Texas, man, this year, bro. So, guys, oh, man, we got a very exciting video, man, to do. I know John came here for, man, so let's just dive into this video, fam. Okay, so, guys, from beginning, KJ, Jeff, uh, KJ Jefferson, the guy I called the mad scientist, dialed up the pads. Matter of fact, he was in the, um, he was in the delivery room, you know, give me the scalpel. Give me this, give me that. Dialed up a pass, man, to uh, Traylon Burks. And which I said, bro, if the Hawks gonna have any chance to win this game, Traylon Burks has got to play well. He has to play special. He has to play good. In which that was the first first touchdown of the game. Traylon Burks. And when it went 85 yards. And the Texas A&M have not given up a 25-yard pass play all year. That pass went 85 yards, fam. Then... On the next touchdown, it was the A.J. Green, in which A.J. Green caught the ball, bro. And I'm sitting thinking to myself, okay, he's about to get tackled. It was two defenders coming out of one, Patty grazed him, and the other one pushed him in the end zone. I'm like, bro, let's mm, go and get in there, man. You know, you deserve this guy. You deserve this A.J. Get in there. So you pushed him and whatnot, man. And he went fine in the end zone. I'm like, bro, what kind of tackle was that, man? Or was you? Tr I think he really was trying to get him in there. Like, you know, I mean, you know, it's been nine years, man. I, I help you out. I, that's what it seemed like. But anyway, fam, AJ Green did his thing and whatnot. Then, so the first half, bro, it was, I'm not mistaken, 14 to 3, in which Texas AM did came back in the end to kick the field goal. Second half, though, guys, second half, Texas AM started kind of like moving the ball a little bit more. And I think Callan even said, bro, that he had messed up. He had got out of position because uh, Isaiah, Isaiah Spiller, he scored a touchdown and whatnot. And uh, Texas A&M went up or whatnot, 10 points. So anyway, fam, after that, K.J. Jefferson, bro, still doing his thing. The mad scientist still doing his thing, man. He had actually ran. I think he ran. Yeah, I think, yeah. No, he, he, yeah, I think he ran. But anyway, bro, he got hurt, man. He hit the trash can on the sidelines. So, bro, K.J. was like in pain and whatnot. He had to come out. Then comes Malik Hornsby, you know, true freshman. And, bro, I was looking at him like, man, this guy is incredibly fast. Like, he is really fast, man. And he can throw a little bit, too. He's going to need some, you know, come, of course, he's going to need work because he's a true freshman. But he is incredibly fast. So, the Hawks still doing their thing. And the DFH, in which I said as well, if the Hawks going to win this game, get Texas A&M. Because Texas A&M is a good opponent, bro. They are still tough. They still the Aggies. The DFH has got to stand up, man, from beginning to freaking end, baby. From beginning to end, guys. It was freaking hard-nosed football out there. Smash mouth, man. And they swarmed to the ball, guys. The whole, they were swarming to the ball the whole freaking game and whatnot. I'm like, bro, this is, this is reminding me back of the old days, baby. The McFadden days, baby. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like this, this is, um, this is a sight to see, man. This is a sight to see. So anyway, the hall, they swam to the ball. They ain't giving up no ground. They ain't taking nothing. I'm talking about nothing, guys. So anyway, DFH doing their thing and whatnot. And then KJ, KJ Jefferson came back into the game and that run he did, even though he was hurt, that run he did at the end, man, bro, that was all heart. 
That was all heart. That was all guts. That's why I respect the Hogs so much, bro, because they are going to fight to the end. I don't care what the score is. I don't care what you're saying. I don't care what... I don't care. It, don't, it does not matter, bro. They are going to fight to the end, hurt or not. You know, healthy or not, man. And that's what you got to respect it. But like I said, bro, Texas ain't there, man. Of course, they've been doing their thing for nine years, fam, okay? It's been a, it's been a while since the Hogs have beat Texas ain't there and Texas in the same year. So it was time. It was time for this victory, man, in which, guys... Sam Pittman's second year, bro. Like that video I made um, when I first started my YouTube channel. It, I said, what was that video? Um, how long would it be before Sam Pittman can um, turn the Hawks into a... It was something like that, a championship um, team or a powerhouse in the SEC. Yeah, I think it was a powerhouse in SEC. Bro, I think it's the second year. This is this year that the Hawks are becoming a powerhouse, man. A powerhouse, bro. You already beat Texas. Just be Texas A&M. Now, woo, it gets very, very exciting, Hogs. It gets very, very exciting, my brothers and sisters. Y'all got Georgia coming up, man. In which, bro, Georgia had freaking 35 points in the first quarter against Vanderbilt. I know I know Vanderbilt is not looking good this year. And, bro, I don't even understand why I even took Vanderbilt for the second half. I was just thinking something crazy is going to happen. And on my SEC prediction game, I actually said, that Georgia would have this by half time. I was wrong. They had it by the first quarter. So I don't know why I didn't take Georgia in that game. Anyway, I was crazy. Damn. Guys, y'all gotta, man, this is gonna be a tough one, man. And I'm not gonna get too, I'm not gonna go in too in depth with this game because I gotta I gotta do a preview. I gotta do a um, video on y'all in Georgia, man. Cause this is this is SEC firepower right here, bro. This is this is just woo, this is awesome right here, man. You know, cause especially the way the Hawks are playing. And especially the way Georgia's playing, man. The DFH versus that defense from Georgia, you know. Now, guys, this this is not going to be easy at all. I know Texas A&M, bro. Y'all just beat Texas A&M. I know y'all happy. But, guys, Georgia's a different beast. They are a different animal. Even I'm kind of nervous at Georgia right now, man. You know, they are just destroying people. I'm talking about destroying them, guys. Just taking their heads off and drinking their blood, man. I know that's kind of, you know, it's you know what I mean, guys. They are just doing their thing right now. So, with that being said, fam, with that being said, hopefully, KJ Jefferson, bro, he's healed up by the time this game starts next Saturday, man, because we're going to, y'all going to definitely need KJ. Traylon Burks, I think he got hurt too. I seen what he got hurt. Guys, y'all need to get, y'all need Traylon Burks as well. Bro, the DFH, y'all got to play with y'all heads on fire. Your arms, your legs on fire, your eyes, fire coming out of your eyes, out of your nose. Man, this is, guys, this is going to be rough. This is going to be a tough game right here, man. And I'm not going to go too in-depth because I'm going to do um, a video on this. But, fam, look, this victory right here against the Aggies, it was well-deserved. And, man, I really appreciate it, man. Well, of course, we all pre not not saying I appreciate y'all being the Aggies. I just appreciate good football, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. I appreciate hard nose smash mouth football. And either way, fam, it, the Aggies had a one. You know what I'm saying? Still, guys, if y'all win in a way that's deserving, in a way that everybody can say, you know what, man? They deserve that. Because I see a lot of my comments. I haven't been, been able to um answer everything yet. But a lot of guys are saying, you know what, man? Hey, y'all did y'all thing, hog. We just wasn't ready. You know, uh, even Rick Dees, he was like, bro, I apologize. Because he was talking some mad trash, bro. In that comment section, all y'all was, especially Rick, though. He was like, bro, this is the same old, same old from Arkansas. We, yes, I know we can play some cupcakes, but we're going to kick their butts. And it, it didn't happen. It just didn't happen that way, man. So he gave his props to everybody. So, fam, I'm glad we can come together as SCC brothers and sisters. We can come together, for, uh, guys, and be like, you know what, bro? Y'all deserve this. Y'all played a good game. You know, we'll see y'all next year in Arlington, Texas, man, Jerry's World. So anyway, fam, y'all did y'all thing. But, bro, be careful with Georgia. Be careful with Georgia, fam, because Georgia is a different beast. They are. They are. It, it kind of like us, man. Like, they just dominate. And for them to have freaking 35 points against Vanderbilt in the freaking first quarter, it's like Vanderbilt just just giving them the ball. You know, it's like they saying, bro, we have no resistance. We don't want to. We don't even want to play y'all, man. Just get the ball, run it in. You know, you, you're in our house. It's okay. It's all right. I don't care. 
I love everybody, and I really love you, Georgia. So just run the ball in, and we're going to call it a day. I'm like, bro, it was just crazy, man. But anyway, fam, leave your thoughts and your opinions and whatnot on this video, man, because I know y'all going to have a lot of them. And, man, I'm just glad, bro. I'm glad for this victory for the Hogs. You know, y'all, man, like I say, both teams did an excellent job, you know. It's just the Hogs are just too much in this game from beginning to end. That smash mouth football, bro. That smash mouth is something serious, man. Well, you could punch a team in the mouth and you continually keep punching them in the mouth and they don't have no answers for it. Guys, you're going to win. I don't care who it is. I don't care. If it, it could be Georgia next week, bro. If you punch Georgia in the mouth, punch them in the mouth continuously and they have no answers for getting punched in the mouth, the Hall's going to take that too. It's just point blank, period. It's that simple, bro. It starts in the trenches. This is SCC versus SCC. This is not no freaking Pac-12, Big Ten, especially now the ACC. They just look at Oh, my gosh. They're looking garbage. But like I say, bro, this this is going to be hell. This is going to be a good game, but I can't wait to see it on both ends. Both ends. Our game and the Hawks game. But anyway, fam, like I say, all my videos, bro, y'all are who I do this for. And fam, if you want to donate, man, you can always do that. PayPal, Cash App, or it's also a thank you button on my page now. Like, it's aside the likes and the dislikes and all that. Once you scroll over, you'll see it. YouTube is added this thank you button. I forgot. I haven't been promoting it. But if y'all if want to donate, bro, y'all can easily do that. Just had a guy send some money to do PayPal. So I really appreciate the love, man. Really, JT Thomas, he was the guy who sent the um $50 over. I really appreciate the love, fam. Because like I got said, guys, I do this for y'all, man. You know, y'all are my passion, man. Y'all are my passion, bro. I do this for y'all. I love making these videos. If I don't get a dime, bro, I'm still going to make these videos just because this is what I love to do. I do it for y'all. I do it for my fans, man. But anyway, guys, and like I said, all my videos, I love college football. You love college football. We love college football. And with that being said, much love. Much love, guys. And I'll stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you. I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.